An audio comparison of good versus bad ham radio transmissions recorded from the two-metre band NBFM in Melbourne, Australia. These transmissions have all been recorded by taking a line from the frequency discriminator of a desktop receiver scanner for VHF, the equalisation, the uh, treble DMF is the same in both cases. Please note that Dave VK3ASC is renowned for his good audio. He uh, feeds studio quality audio into the voltage controlled oscillator of his transmitter, whereas the average ham radio quality, which I personally find objectionable, is given by the other example of a WIA news broadcast which frankly is all too typical of so-called communications quality audio which could otherwise be called bad. First of all Dave VK3ASE. And uh, yeah it was a good thing and I think um, it used to interfere with Channel O of course in those days and people hated it. Yes, Mr Egg had some some extended uh, emissions on. Yes he did, he had big stereo emissions as well. Yes he did. And light beam emissions with Mr Long. As well, yes. He used to replay them. Oh excellent. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah it was uh, quite good. But yeah going the the metal chassis... I just find they're a pain to, to work on to drill and everything. So I'm I'm going to build my next mitters like a 1928, get a black panel of wood and you know, paint it black, then just drill holes, mount everything on it, poking out in the wall like they used to do in those days. And I think it'd be an easy way to to, um, to make mitters. Probably doesn't work for VHF too well, but certainly uh, 160 and 80 <laughs> would be fine. Worrying. And, yeah. you know, it's just you want another hole there. I put a meter, just drill a hole through... Pl- through um, through Masonites. How easy is that? Dutch Resistance. Netherlands Communications Regulator Agents Chap Telecom AT has given a rather disappointing response to the call by Dutch radio amateurs for the 144 to 146 megahertz band to be protected. France has submitted a proposal to SEPT for the ITU WRC 23 conference, which could see the key amateur band being allocated to the aeronautical mobile service. Yep. Look, free-to-air TV. I've not realised getting a big TV hasn't improved the quality of the programmes. I watched it for a couple of nights and I thought, this is just crap. Absolute rubbish. I prefer to come out here and build a mitter or something. Now, last night I was looking through the channels. One of them's an ad TV channel. All it has is, like, continuous ads. And they're advertising this new shower system you can buy, $499. There's only 30 left, so you better, better ring up now and get it. And apparently it's got three times the pressure of your old shower, but uses much less water, and you will save 36,000 litres in a year. Also, when the water's going through the special disc in the shower head, it gets negative ions. Now, it just doesn't get all... <laughs> 